Hey guys, Tyler here. Today in this video, I want to share with you how you can start your very first transaction using Trello. How to manage your entire process of a real estate transaction is something that I come across many years ago and I love the platform and I use it for all of my real estate transactions. So let's go ahead and take a look at Trello right now. All right, so welcome to my Trello real estate board. Now, if you actually want the full template to what I'm going to show you here today, you can find a link down in the description. There is two versions. There's the basic and then there's an automated version and we're going to be going over that in detail here in this video. So if you're just starting a real estate transaction, you have your contract ready to go and you want to be able to manage the process. I've figured out that this is really the best way to manage that process. Now, if you take a look right here, you're going to see columns that go along the top active listing, new contract, pre-inspection, post-inspection, pre-appraisal, post-appraisal, pre-closing and post-closing. Now you can make these yourself and feel free to follow along if you would like. Now, when you're actually making your first transactions, there's three, there's two ways that you could really get a transaction. Either there is a buyer, or there is a seller and we have both of those built into this program. So if you have a new listing that's going to be coming up, you're going to enter that into the pre listing tab. So let's just call this one, two, three, four main street. That's going to be going live here in a couple weeks. So once you add that here, you now can start the process. Now there's two ways you can go about doing this. When you go into the 123 Main Street and you've added a card, you're going to see that you need to add a specific checklist. Now, if you head over here, your checklist, and then you can copy items. This is how I save all my checklists. So let me show you. If we go all over to the right, you're going to see my templated cards. And these have all of the checklist for buyers and sellers built out completely. So if we check in and we look at the seller's templated checklist, you're going to see these columns right here. So this is their pre-listing forms required checklist. If we go down, this is the pre-listing input checklist. Further, there's the active listing checklist and it goes on and on and on. Now, what I do is we make this template right here and we don't touch it. If we go back over to our new card, we're simply just going to go in here select checklist, copy from, we're going to scroll all the way down to the seller templated checklist and we're going to select the pre listing forms required checklist, add that boom. It pops up there. And since I have two for pre listings, I'm going to go back to this and we're going to select the second one as well. And that is the input new listings checklist. Now I have a template, our basic template where you can manually add all those for every single file, but we do have an automated version and I'm going to show you that right here. So let's just say we have a buyer. That's the second way that you can add a transaction. You have your listings, you store them here and when they go live, you move them here just drag and drop easy. Now, once you have a contract, this is where all of the automated features that we put together are now going to begin to work. So let's go ahead and add a buyer transaction here under new contract. So you just got something under contract and you want to add that to this transaction. So let's call that four, five, six, seven main street. And once you add that, <clears throat> it's going to automatically add that checklist. If you have the premium version board that you can find the links down in the description, it also puts a star on there automatically just because I want my admins to know that, Hey, this is a new transaction for you to get started on. Please take a look at that. My admins also notified through Slack. If you look right here, you actually can see this little notification or icon. You can actually connect Slack to this. And I do most of my communication through Slack and Slack channels. And this communicates with each other and makes it really, really nice. So let's just get back to what we're doing here. Once we go into new contracts, you can see the information right here. You're going to see all these custom fields. Now, all these custom fields are all the details of the transaction that you want to know about. And maybe you want on the front of the card. So you don't have to open the file, dig through the file, find out the information you're looking for, close the file, put it back. This makes it a lot easier, a lot quicker and simpler. Let me show you. 
Okay, so let's just say um, I'm the transact, I'm the agent on this one. Let's just say the purchase price of this was three hundred fifty thousand dollars. The seller paid five thousand dollars in closing costs, and you want to remember that the earnest deposit you remembered was three thousand dollars. The earnest details was it submitted or not maybe maybe not let's just say you have a closing date of january 27th you can select the financing as conventional inspections is there inspection or no inspections all this information is really really helpful and is information that i want to see right after i put the transaction together or i want to reference and then if i go back and i look at the card look at that all that information is right there. This is a really nice feature and it allows me to see what's going on very, very quickly. Now, if we go back into this, you're gonna see a description. One of the things that I have over as our one of our templates is our essentials person's contact information. This is really important because if you take a look at that, right here, you're going to see all the information that I copy over as my template to add everybody that's involved in the transaction onto that file. This is really important because I can't tell you when I got eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 contracts going at the same time, things get a little convoluted. I don't remember who the agent is. I don't remember the title company or the lender's information. And I want to be able to reference it very, very quickly. So all I have to do is copy this information, go back over to the file, put that information right here. And all I have to do is reference it right here by just selecting the actual file. This is a big time saver. Let me just say that a big time saver. Okay. Now let's just say you're ready to move this on to the next phase of the transaction. You've done the initial, the new contract checklists, and you're ready for the pre-inspection point. We're getting up to the pre-inspection time and you want to do the items associated with that. Well, there's two ways you could do that. You could drag and drop. If you drag and drop, what will not happen is a checklist will not be added. You can do that manually if you want to do that. Or you can go in here and select our power ups, our automations that we've created and select the buyer move to pre inspection column. You select this right here. It's thinking a little bit. Oh, you see it right there. It already moved. And then if we scroll down, you're going to see the next uh, buyer pre inspection checklist. Boom, right there. All that just showed up and it moved it on to the next file or the next stage of the transaction. This makes it so much easier. If you're a list person, if you like checklists, you're going to love this because it saves so much time. If you're not a detailed person, you're not a checklist person like I am. I'm not a big detailed person. I might not do all the checklist items, but I will for sure move items from one stage to the other. So I got a big picture of what's actually happening within the transaction. This saves me a ton of time. I'm pretty sure I've said that a hundred times. You can really lose track of things when you have multiple deals going on. And this is a big time saver. So we have that. Now, once we move over, I have an automation set up. Once we move the active listing over, to the new contract, this will automatically start the next phase of the transaction. It puts a star on it. It already added the new checklist and boom, you're on your way to doing a transaction within Trello for the first time for your first transaction. So if you have any questions about this, feel free to reach out. Put a comment below this video if you like content like this and be sure to check out the link down in the description if you're interested in checking out the templates that I've already created that are already done. We have a basic version and a premium version. Go ahead, check that out. Thanks for watching guys and we will see you in the next video. Take care.